In this video, you will learn how to recognize the symptoms of a breast engorgement, as well as the techniques you can adopt in order to reduce the edema while still being able to breastfeed. Between the second and the fourth day after giving birth, the breast size increases. We call it lactogenesis. This natural swelling generally lasts for a day. Sometimes complications can arise. Breasts can become painful, swollen, red and shiny, in which case the breast has become engorged. Difficulty to both express milk and for the baby to take the nipple will arise. To avoid reaching such a state of engorgement, be sure to express regularly your milk. To do this, make sure the baby feeds efficiently. The baby has to be facing the breast. Their mouths should cover most of their areola, the dark part of the breast. The baby's lips must be turned outward and they must have their tongue under the breast. A second piece of advice is to make sure that both breasts are fully emptied when nursing has finished. Your baby must finish the first breast before the second, which means that you should wait for the baby to release the breast by themselves. If you feel that the second breast isn't fully expressed, keep expressing manually or use a breast pump as a last resort. Alternate the first breast you present at each feeding session. During the first weeks, the average is between 8 to 12 nursing sessions a day. If you currently suffer from engorged breasts, here is some useful advice. Before nursing, apply hot and moist compress to your breasts or take a hot shower. This relieves pain and facilitates milk expression. You can also massage the edges of the breasts with circular motions to soften them. Since your breasts are tense and the baby has issues taking the areola, this area needs to be relaxed before the baby latches onto the breast. There are two possibilities. The first one is to express your milk manually until you feel the areola relaxing. The second one is to perform a compression of the areola. To do this, place your fingers on either side of the areola. Press for 10 seconds. Repeat the operation several times, moving your fingers to squeeze the entire circumference of the areola. After breastfeeding, do the opposite and apply cold or cabbage leaves on the breasts to anesthetize the pain. Refer to a trained professional for medical treatment if necessary.